sequential measurements on multiple samples can be carried out, each of which can be assigned different measurement parameters, sample name, comment, and file name. Baseline measurements can also be included in the sequence. Make sure that display flowchart is not selected in the parameters tab, and either select measure, sequence measurement, or choose the sequence icon in the menu toolbar. The sequence tab will not automatically open on its own, so you will have to manually select the tab underneath the spectrum measurement window. The number of rows for the sequence can be specified by entering a value in the total text box and hitting apply. The type column specifies a baseline or sample measurement, or a new parameter file can be loaded for subsequent sample measurements. Select the cell under type and then right click to choose the measurement type. If load parameters is selected, the parameter file name has to be specified in the file name column. Click the corresponding cell in the file name column and click on the button to the right and then locate the parameter file. Any data processing or sequence settings previously specified in the parameter file will be ignored. If sample is selected for the type of measurement, the folder location where the sample measurement will be saved can be specified. Click the corresponding cell in the file name column and then click the button to the right. Choose the folder location and format of the file you would like to save. The baseline data cannot be automatically saved and if a baseline is measured during a sequence, baseline or baseline dark must be selected in the parameters dialog box. You can also specify the type of measurement for multiple rows by selecting the first and last row by holding down the shift key and right clicking one of the rows and selecting the measurement type. The save folder and file name can also be set for multiple spectra simultaneously by selecting multiple rows in the file name column, holding down the shift key and clicking the button to the right of the column. When sample name and comment are entered in the sequence table before a measurement, they are saved with the data comment information. Double click on the cells in these columns to enter the text. The easy settings icon quickly lets you specify the number of samples, whether a baseline will be measured, and the folder and format for automatically saving the sample measurement data. You can open a pre-existing sequence file, as well as save your new sequence file. Rows can be quickly added and deleted. To start the sequence measurement, select the sample measurement icon.